Welcome back, guys. Uh, I was asked to uh, go through the steps involved in getting Battle.net working within an Arch Linux or Manjaro install. So I did a fresh install of Manjaro, and now I'm going to go through the steps involved uh, in getting uh, Battle.net games working, specifically um, Hearthstone. Uh, but this would apply to World of Warcraft or Starcraft or any of their other games. So the first thing, uh, I'm going to uh, provide some uh, information step by step. And I'll have it in the show notes. Uh, but basically we're going to install the required program. So the first one is going to be TTFMS fonts. Now that's the... Uh, Arch uh, version. For Debian or Ubuntu you're gonna do TTF MS Core Fonts Installer. That's really the only difference. So I'm gonna open up a terminal and I'm going to plug in one command at a time and we will follow through uh, and get it installed on my Manjaro system. So first this will go and pull the uh, information and let's see okay so now it's going to pull the information on all the various fonts that are required now this is I never had to go through this step before I think um, Blizzard has made some changes to their battle net and this is required now so um, you'll want to go ahead and do this as your first step and it doesn't take long to install once that's installed uh, then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to install wine so let's go install wine and again I'm gonna go through this step by step and none of these steps should take very long with the exception of the final download of uh, your battle net game I'm gonna do Hearthstone so that's gonna take a little bit for download time I'll pause the video while that's happening so right now uh, wine is finishing up and we're going to go on to uh, play on Linux. Now, with the default Manjaro install, Steam is already installed. So that pulls in some of the um, codecs and files required for 32-bit libraries and things like that. So you won't have to install Steam. If Steam was not included in the default install, I would recommend that you install Steam. So let's go ahead and install Play on Linux. And that doesn't take very long. Now in order for uh, Battle.net games to work within Manjaro or Arch, this file lib32-libldap is, is an absolute necessity. So I'm going to install that and that is now installed. Now, if you have an NVIDIA card, I would recommend that you install these two libraries, 32-bit. Uh, uh, um, I've already done that, but let's go ahead and uh, we'll go through the, the step. Okay, so it's reinstalling, um, and so that's that's all set. Now I've already got my NVIDIA enabled, and I have the 364.19 driver installed, and so I've got that going. And I've lost my GUVC view. So bear with me when I while I get that set up again. Uh, 
and this will just take a moment okay so we've got that uh, we've got all the necessary requirements installed now I would I would recommend that you install Compton uh, for screen tearing if you do install Com Compton you will need a config file placed in your home dot config folder you'll have to enable hidden files in order to see that so you'll place your Compton config file in your dot config folder in your home directory and you'll also need to put Compton in auto start so if I pull up my file manager you see I have hidden files enabled and if I go into dot config you'll see I have my Compton config file now if you'd like to use that Compton config file um, I have it on my github uh, location I'll put that link into the show notes but you can feel free to to use my uh, Compton config file so then you'll put that in your dot config folder and then make sure that you've got Compton in your auto start so go to sessions and start up auto start and you can see I have Compton and the command is just Compton lowercase c very simple okay so once that's done what you're going to do is you're going to open uh, play on Linux now I'm going to include some information I'm going to include some information um, in case your audio doesn't work sometimes audio doesn't work within play on Linux within Battle.net installed through play on Linux so if that's the case you will install these libraries and that will solve your audio issue so you can wait to see um, how your install goes if you find it works fine and audio is fine then just just leave it alone if you start up your a Hearthstone or your Battle.net game and you have no audio then just install these libraries and you, you should be fine if you're not then go ahead and install this second set of libraries okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, as you can see play on Linux is updating its database of applications as soon as that's done we will go we will begin the process of installing hearthstone it's a fairly simple process we're gonna go through it step by step and the end result should be a functioning hearthstone installation so let's click on install and then we're gonna type in hearthstone select it from the list and click on install it says it's in testing might not work as expected okay all right so now click on next then click on next again and it's going to bring up another screen and this is a little bit of a slow process so just bear with me now it's going to go ahead and and even though we installed wine into the system it's going to do a wine install specifically for play on Linux and that'll take a moment so I'm going to pause the video while I go through the wine install be right back with you guys okay so wine is just about done and now it's going to go ahead and pull in some other files and right now it's downloading gecko wine gecko which is a required file I'm going to pause and I'll be right back with you as soon as wine gecko is done okay wine gecko is finishing up 
and now it's going to install wine mono and again I'll be right back with you okay so wine mono is finishing up and it's creating the system of the virtual drive now this shouldn't take too long and the next few steps so now it's saying that Microsoft fonts aren't installed even though we already did install them you still need to go through this step so we're gonna click next agree and then it's gonna go ahead and pull in the fonts and again I'm gonna pause the video while it finishes up this step okay so the fonts are done installing now once it finishes the fonts it's gonna bring up the language screen you're gonna select your language click next now it's pulling in the BattleNet application so <clears throat> I'm gonna leave the video going so you can see this process even though it, it, it takes a little bit of time I want to make sure that I capture everything. Now you see the BattleNet install screen comes up. You're going to click on continue. Just leave everything the way it is and click on continue. So now it's installing the BattleNet application. And this normally doesn't take too long. Once this finishes, it should bring up a BattleNet sign in screen. and we will wait for that to happen now as you can see it's not a difficult process now there was a bug that prevented this login button from coming up that appears to have been resolved and when I installed the um, MS fonts at the beginning of the video that was so that we can resolve that bug. So now when you see BattleNet you'll sign in with your username and your password. So now it's logging me into my BattleNet account. This normally doesn't take too long. Once this finishes it's going to bring up the battle net uh, well it's gonna ask to start the install of course you're gonna click on start install now it's gonna say we could not find any blizzard games on your system you if you do have blizzard games on your system you can click locate I do not I don't have anything installed to my hard drive so I'm gonna click close so right now what's happening is it's going through the install of hearthstone if you want to install StarCraft, then you will just click on StarCraft and click Install. If you want World of Warcraft, you will click Install on World of Warcraft. I'm only going to go through the Hearthstone install because they're all the same. Once we go through this process, um, you can apply that to any of these games here. Now, I'm going to pause the video and let this finish downloading and once it's done we will verify that the installation actually works I'll be right back with you guys okay guys as you can see this is done loading if I click play it will play but um, we, can, we need to do one more step so we're gonna click on configure on your play on Linux window click on configure <coughs> excuse me select hearthstone select make a new shortcut from this virtual drive scroll down and you can either do hearthstone.exe or you can do battlenet.exe so let's do battlenet so highlight that click next you can leave the name alone click next now you can see it placed an, uh, a, uh, a launcher on my desktop. See that file here on the left? So now we don't need any more. 
So you're going to click I don't want to make another shortcut and then click next. Then you can close out. Now you can see it added a, a, a launcher here and it added a launcher here. So we can just close this out and now if you want to start your after you close everything out if you want to start but your battle net launcher just as you see here you will either click this icon or this icon if you don't want icons on your desktop just right click that and delete it but save this one on your play on Linux so I'm gonna close everything out so you can see what happens once you uh, want, if you once you want to start the game uh, after the installation is done? So I'm going to close, exit Battle.net. I'm going to click cancel here, and I'm going to close my Play on Linux window. Yes. Okay. Now, as I said, you can start your game either by double clicking the launcher on your desktop or go to your menu go to games click on play on Linux and the launcher you can highlight it and click run either way so let's see what happens when I click run <clears throat> so your battle net screen will open and it'll just take a moment now if there's an update required it will go ahead and download the updates but since it's not required at this point in time I'm gonna just go ahead and start hearthstone so let's let's take a look at that now hopefully you can see this and I'm gonna click the screen I'm glad you're here friend. and I'm going there's to go to options I'm gonna lower the master volume I'm gonna uncheck full screen and I'm going to select a different resolution 16 by 9 okay then I'm gonna click resume now hopefully you guys can see all this And once you 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 will be able to move this uh, screen um, next time you start it. This once you grab that toolbar at the top, you should be able to move it. But as you can see, Hearthstone is running fine. Once you're done, click on quit. Now it'll bring you to back to your Hearthstone uh, log or your Hearthstone uh, game center. Now. If you want to install another game, just click on StarCraft, for example, click Install, click on World of Warcraft, click Install. Whatever it is you want to play, you'll be able to do the installation. So guys, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, put them into the uh, comments section. Uh, thank you for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and enjoy your Hearthstone, and I will see you soon. Take care.